Hello, what's up, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel, and today we got something a little bit different. We're gonna be playing NCAA 2010, and when you go to their equipment, they had a bunch of equipment in this game, but one of the equipments, if you go to the player's wrist, you can put on a club. A club is something that players would use whenever they have a broken hand. The training staff would be like, you can play, but you know, we're gonna have to wrap up your hand so you don't do any more damage to it, right? So everybody in the mama, I mean everybody in the mama, the band, the crowd, the cheerleaders, the faculty, the, the athletic director, the head coach, everybody has a club. Not a club, but both hands are covered up, okay? So here goes the opening kick, and you can see if the kicker got clubs on his hand, all right? It's the club game. It is the Rock'em Sock'em Robots game. They look like they got boxing gloves on. My goodness gracious. What was that boxing game on Dreamcast? Whatever that game was, that's exactly what their hands look like. So we're going to run the ball, not we. I'm just commentating. I'm not controlling no team. It's computer versus computer. I gave everybody their names, all right? Everybody in the mom. I hope I named everybody correctly. I believe I did. I did my due diligence. You feel me? So on third and five, Tim Tebow connects the dots, move those chains. Taking the shot deep, and Aaron Hernandez had it, but he would have been out of bounds. He dropped it anyway, so second down and ten. And on second and 10, is going to be intercepted. He tried to find the homie Riley Cooper. And Mr. Cooper can't hang on to that pass. Went right through his hands, into the DB's hands. And now here comes Alabama. The Crimson Tide. Big Greg throws a strike. And that's going to be a first down. Come Florida, get a stop. They play fake at the Ingram. Going up top. And that's going to be caught. And here comes the Crimson Tide of Alabama. Getting deeper and deeper into Florida territory. Now they're inside the 20. All the momentum is on their side. No pass rush to speak of, and that's going to be caught inside the five down to the one. Look at Big Greg out there with those clubs. Now they're going to give it to my boy Mark Ingram, and he has the other mints on as well, but he can't do anything with them. That pass, ugly, ugly. Third down and goal. This pass, ugly, ugly, too, and they have to settle for a field goal. Kick us up, and the kick is good. All right, so now Florida, they're going to get a chance. They have Rainey back there, the speedster, from his own 15. Up to the 30, weaving through traffic like your mama new hairdo says, get off of me, son, to the 40, to the 30, the 20, the 10, 5, touchdown, Florida. And the Gators are going to take the lead. So 7 to 3 is now the score. They're going to look to get something going on offense. Talking about Alabama, they're trying to get into the end zone this time. And Mark Ingram is hurt. So that might not be a good look. Now, Trent Richardson is in this roster, but he's like the fifth string running back because he was a freshman this year. And, yeah, so he's not going to get no playing time, just so you know, but he is in the game. That's going to be a big-time pass. Move those chains. They're going to go right up that guy, and Florida is there to shut it down. So second down and goal, McElroy dropping back the pass, and Big Greg throws it, and it's going to be a touchdown for the Crimson Tide. Alabama takes the lead right back. 10-7 to 7 is the score. Tebow over the middle. Going to find his man. That's going to be caught. I believe that's Thompson. And that's going to be a first down. They go with the end around. I mean, my goodness gracious. You have all this speed and you do a Riley Cooper. And then you, then you have the audacity to do it again. Breaks one tackle. Then gets the, 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 this pancake by Cody. Looking downfield. That's going to be caught. Aaron Hernandez got put on his back, and that's going to do it for the first quarter of play. Alabama ranked number six in the nation. They had the lead over number one, Florida. Up that gut goes Mark Ingram, who's back in the game, but he is still, you can see it, a little dinged up. Second down and nine. Greg, looking downfield to McElroy. He's going to find his man, but he's out of bounds, so that's not going to count. Third down and nine. Looking for somebody open. Has all day in the pocket. Has a man that's open to the left side. And Julio Jones is loose. Finally gets brought down by the homie Joe Hayden. Looking down. Phil, that's going to be intercepted by Janoris Jenkins. And he's going to get this one in Bama territory. And now Florida has a chance to take the lead again. Tebow up the gut. That's not my Tim Tebow. My Tim Tebow don't slide. He, I don't think he knows how to slide. Does he even slide in baseball? I don't know. Second down and eight. He's going to take it up that gut and slide again. Timothy Tebow, who are you? Looking downfield. Has all day in the pocket. Aaron Hernandez inside the 20. First down. Now what can they do? They're going to go with the pass play. That's going to be caught. And that's another first down. Aaron Hernandez still putting in this work. Now Timothy Tebow fighting for every inch gets brought down by the homie Terrence Cody. Second down and go. They give it to Riley Cooper. I'm sick and tired of y'all getting the ball to Riley Cooper like this. With all this speed, 
Like, stop it. Third down and goal. Looking downfield. Kentucky to run this to Bo. And Timothy to Bo gets stopped a yard shy. Can Alabama get a goal line stand? It's fourth and goal. They are going to run the option. The ball comes loose. Big Terrence Cody recovers it. And Alabama with a goal line stand. So second down, excuse me, first down and 10. Two minutes ago here in the second quarter, they pick up four. Second down and six. Ingram takes it up. That guy, he's going to pick up another gain of four. Third down and two. They run it a third straight time. And this time, Ingram is off to the races. Chase down in the secondary at the 39-yard line. So first down and 10. They're only going to rush two. And that's going to lead to a completion. You got to get some pressure. Big Gray going to dot you up. Second down and five. Still looking, still looking. Gets hit, and that pass falls incomplete. Has to be the club on the hand. It's not allowing him to grip the football right clearly. But this time, they do complete the pass. They pick up a first down, and they're just past the 50-yard line. 39 seconds on the clock. Looking downfield, testing Joe Hayden, and you don't test Joe. You, you, you can't beat Joe. Joe Hayden with the INT, and that's going to bring the first half to an end. Alabama's up by three. Ten to seven is the score. Alabama will get the ball first here in the second half. Mark Ingram up the gut. No, it's a play fake, and that's going to be caught. Julio breaks a tackle, gets thrown to the turf, and that's a first down for the Crimson Tide. Now they're going to run the football, but Ingram forgot the ball. Dunlap recovers it, and the Florida Gators have it in Alabama territory. Now, last time they had the ball, they drove down the field. That pass is incomplete, but when they drove down the field, it was a goal line stand by Alabama's defense. Can Florida get this one into the end zone? Riley Cooper makes the catch. He has enough for a Gators first down. From the gun, they're going to run it with Demps, and Demps breaks a tackle. With all that speed, Demps is a handful. Gets this one up to the 20-yard line. Tebow on first and 10. Throws it, looking for the wide receiver screen, but the pressure got to him. Forces a bad pass. Second down and nine. That's going to be caught, and that's going to be a Florida Gators touchdown. So 14 to 10 is now the score. Huge hit by Dunlap on first down on Ingram, and now it's going to be second down and 11. That pass is going to be caught, and that's a big first down for the Crimson Tide. They got to get their offense going in the right direction. Back-to-back -back drives, back-to-back -back turnovers. They could really use some positivity. Second down and four. Breaking the tackle is Ingram. Still trying to get loose as Ingram and a pass the 40-yard line Fresh set of 10 for Alabama. Up that gut and going nowhere is Mark Ingram. Put on his back. Loss of two. They're going to run it with him again. Look at the spin move. Find some space to operate and gets close to the first down marker. Can the Gators get a stop? No, they cannot as Alabama runs the football for Galore. That's going to be a first down. Then Dunlap off of the edge from his DN spot. Brings him down after a gain of just one. Ingram up the gut gets brought down by Spikes. And now it's going to be third down and seven. Looking downfield, that pass is going to be incomplete. Dunlap picks it up, but it is an incomplete pass, not a fumble. So they got to set up for a field goal. Kick us up. Kick is good. And Alabama is now only down by one. Riley Cooper gets another handoff. If I see him get another handoff, I'm, I'm quitting. I'm turning off everything. They fake it to him, and Tebow pays the price. Why fake it to Riley Cooper? Don't do that. Third down and seven. That's going to be caught, and that's a first down. And the Gators convert on third down again. Tebow has all day in the pocket. Going to drop this one off. Gain of four for Florida. They're starting to pick up some momentum. Still up by only one. They would really want a touchdown to try to put this game away. But even then, it'll still be a one-possession game with a two-point conversion and a touchdown. But that pass play caught by Cooper. And now it's time for the fourth quarter. Number one versus number six. And number one is up by one. Tim Tebow trying to find some room to operate. Gets put on his back. Third down and four. And again, they run the football. And Tebow again put on his back. So what can Greg do? He's going to find his man over the middle and Big Greg throwing strikes. Now they run the ball again and Dunlap is there. Can somebody block Dunlap? He's a man amongst boys, clearly. They run the ball on third down and three. That's not going to work. Now Florida, they're going to try to run the ball to try to milk this clock. First carry goes for a gain of four. They run the ball with Tebow and Hightower grabs him by the face mask. So automatic first down. On first and 10, Tebow weaving through traffic, and that's going to be close to the first down marker, and they did say that he got it. Looking to pass is Tebow, has a man wide open, that's Hernandez, and Hernandez has enough for another Florida first down. 
They're going to run the ball again. Dempsey gets tackled. Just a pickup of one. Bama is down to the last timeout. They're going to run the ball to the left side. Jackson is there for the tackle. Third down and 12. Tim Tebow has a man open. It's caught. But shy of the first down mark. They're going to settle for a field goal. Kick is up. And the kick is going to be good. All right. So Florida is up by four. Bama needs a touchdown. 50 seconds on the clock. Gets hit as lets it go. That pass possibly could have been caught. Would have been a tough catch. Ball falls incomplete. That should have been intercepted. Another incompletion. No. Third down and 10. Another near interception. So fourth down now. They need to pick up at least 10 yards. And they're not going to get the ball off as Cunningham off of the edge gets the sack. So that's going to be all she wrote in the club game, in the broken hand game, whatever you want to call it. You, you can call it that, baby. But that, it was crazy. I was like, this would be kind of funny to see in live action. And I thought it was, man. Pouncy out, both Pouncy brothers out there. Look at Joe Hayden with two clubs on his hands, makes the catch. Tebow throwing strikes. He might throw better with a broken hand, clearly. Anyways, man, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope the rest of the day is the best day. I'm gone. Peace, love. Hot sauce.